All right, Friday night, and we got this big East Coast storm happening here in Nova Scotia. We've been getting mostly freezing rain in my area. Rain and then back to freezing rain. The power just went out. There's absolutely no power. We've been fairly lucky so far in the season. So we set up the generator to keep us uh, with power for a few hours until we go to bed. So I just want to show you what's going on here. So uh, we built the house last year and we're coming up on our first year anniversary. And we were preparing for this kind of stuff. You can see here with the rain, it's all ice. We got the generator going here. We got the side-by-side -side that brought up the generator up there with our cable. So we got enough uh, gas for a few hours, about 11 hours, if not a little bit more. So we're going to get leave that running for uh, three, four hours until we go to bed, turn that off. But you can see here, it's uh, with our uh, freezing rain and rain, we had a foot if not a foot and a half of snow half of it got, just got collapsed whatever what i did with the snow blower just turned it to a sheet of ice and uh let me show you here what we did here now we never actually tried this out in real life and see what we got going on here so we have our main panel we turn this to off and we have our generator panel that we flicked on we kind of left everything on here but the main breaker is off and here with our generator we have the input outside of the house so we have the second breaker box here so we have one of these doodads here that you got to flip up flip up and lock to uh, get the generator power flowing into this box and from here we turned on a couple things basement lights which is here we turn on the family room and dining room, which is upstairs, utility room and plugs, which is this room exactly. Uh, the microwave, we turn on the fridge, we turn on the water pump and heat pump. So we turn on the water, set pump and all that stuff. Turn all that up here. Heat pump to keep us warm. But everything on the upper floors where we're sleeping, we're gonna turn that off. built the house we made sure that we had the internal uh, the outside link for the generator so that seems to be working fine as you can see here just pure ice and the reason why we're concerned with this freezing rainstorm check out the driveway look at that Woo! Don't need to go to China for the Winter Olympics. The bobsled track is right here. But the uh, most important part, the main level with the fridge, microwave, and the heat pump. It's on the main level, that's on. Upstairs is dark. We'll just use blankets. Downstairs just to support the utilities. And that's it, once we go to bed, we'll turn off the lights and manage our fuel and see what happens in the morning. I was gonna show this in the, another video. My midlife crisis was a side-by-side -side BRP Can-Am Defender. So this has been uh, very useful, especially hauling up this generator, right? It, this is a 5,500 uh, watt generator, a lot heavier than the 3,500s. It's almost 300 pounds, so you really need two people to either lift it up into the box or what we did tonight, we took the handle, took the winch, and we hauled it up to this part here where the cable can hook up and we can uh, generate power to the house. So what we're going to do now with the job done, we're going to take the uh, side by side and we're going to uh, bring it back underneath uh, in the back, cover it up so that it doesn't get iced up. And in the morning, we can uh, take it out and uh, you know, survey the damage in the next morning. All 
All right, we got the beast uh, running here. Got the basement going, got the side-by-side -side all parked in. We're gonna cover her up, make sure she doesn't get all wet. And uh, next morning, or tomorrow morning, we're gonna find out what's going on here and then uh, survey the damage. Hopefully, not too much is going on. All right, luckily our neighbor is uh, part of the uh, city police. He's on call to let us know of gas and all that stuff. So our next door neighbor has generator going on. And uh, we got a generator going on here. We got the little one, we got the missus. They're all good. So we're gonna hunker down, get our headlamps, access our gold bag. And uh, this is why we pre we prepped because oh, go on the snowbank, snowbank. This is gonna be a blooper, a blooper. This is like a sheet of ice, folks. El Nina. Last time this was bad like this was uh, last time El Nina, 2015, 2016. We were in the old place and. Uh, when we moved here, when we built the house, first thing we said, it's like, yeah, this driveway is gonna be a pain in the ass. And uh, yeah, <laughs> look at this, look at this ice, it's a sheet of ice. So we're good, we're gonna let this run until um, we go to bed. And then I guess I'm gonna be on reduced sleep to uh, let this generator run every couple of hours, keep things cold on the fridge. I should check on the deep freeze, make sure that's uh, working well. But so far, I think our, uh, this is a 5,500 watt generator. So this should handle most of our stuff. So we should be able to live on the main level for tonight. Uh, if things get really bad, we're not, uh, uh, we'll see, we'll go sleep. We'll see if we sleep on the top level tonight, but at least the main level is warm basement is uh, just the utilities and uh, all that stuff so you can see here ice ice baby ice ice baby and we're good for a while